Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that a telesales operator is selling a magazine and each day he chooses a number of people to telephone. The probability that each person he telephones buys the magazine is 0.1. And in part A, suggest a suitable distribution to model the number of people who buy the magazine from the telesales operator each day for one mark. And in part B, on Monday, the telesales operator telephones 10 people. Find the probability that he sells at least four magazines for three marks. So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video if you'd like to have a go at this question. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution, okay? Or you might want to fast forward just to check it out quickly. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, the first part here, A, suggests a suitable distribution to model the number of people then who buy the magazine from the telesales operator each day. Well, it's got to be a binomial distribution. And you might want to put down the parameters for this, okay? I'm gonna say that our random variable, let's say x, is distributed binomially. There's two parameters in here, n first of all, the number of trials. We don't know that, okay, for this question, so you could just put it then as n, but we know the probability of making a sale, it's 0.1, so you could put that there as 0.1. So it's a binomial because it's a discrete probability distribution, there's a finite number of trials, okay? Not that we know them at this stage, but we assume then that there's gonna be a finite number of trials. And you'll have either a sale or not a sale, so it's two kind of outcomes. And I'm assuming events are independent of one another. Okay, so part A then, a binomial. Now for part B, we're told that on Monday, the telesales operator telephones 10 people then, find the probability that he sells at least four magazines. So if I define this random variable, okay, let's say let x be the random variable, rv then, okay, the random variable, and this will be the number of sales, okay, number of sales. And this will be distributed, we'll just say where x is distributed binomially and the number of trials is going to be 10, okay, because 10 people here, and probability of a sale then is 0.1. So what we've got to do then is work out probably sells at least four magazines. That's gonna be the probability that x is greater than or equal to four. And to do this, what I'm going to do is one minus the probability of x being less than or equal to three. And we can get this answer for the probability of being less than or equal to three very easily just by looking up in the cumulative binomial distribution tables. And here's an extract which you should be able to check out. Check out that p is equal to 0 0.10 and look in the section where n is 10 and look under x equals 3 and you'll get 0 0.9872 as giving us the probability of being less than or equal to 3. So this is just going to be then 1 minus 0 0.9872 and if you work that out you end up with 0 0.01. Two, eight. Okay?